Mr. Jeffries, the question on infrastructure. Um, yep. Is it still the policy of the House Democrats that you're going to only vote on a bipartisan infrastructure bill if the Senate first sends over reconciliation? The president has sort of walked back some of his remarks. We just want to see where you guys stand. Well, as far as I'm concerned, our job is to make sure that we uh, can move both investments in our crumbling bridges, roads, and tunnels, our water and our sewage, our infrastructure systems, our railways, uh, in the way that's being contemplated uh, by the bipartisan agreement, and also make sure that we're investing in jobs that will be created and are necessary in home care, in long term care, uh, in health care, in child care, and in the broader caring economy. Uh, and I think that we're going to do both. And that's our job. And President Biden laid out very clearly what was part of the Build Back Better agenda. American Rescue Plan, done. American Jobs Plan and American Families Plan. We're working on that right now. Is the vote contingent? I don't, I, you know, I don't, I don't know that uh, I would use the word contingent. These are priorities that we have uh, that are broadly shared throughout the House Democratic Caucus. I think the speaker and the majority leader uh, have been clear about how we're going to proceed. And I expect they'll continue to be clear uh, about how we will proceed moving forward in the weeks to come. They haven't been clear to us. So could you describe what your understanding of it is? My understanding is that we're going to invest uh, in the American people, we're going to invest in jobs. We're going to invest in <laughs> fixing our, the, fixing our, fix, no, no. The Amer as far as I'm concerned, the American people want to know what our priorities are. And we're just going to lay out here are the things that we're going to work on over the next few weeks and the next few months. And that's investing in fixing our crumbling bridges, roads, tunnels, creating a modern 21st century infrastructure. That's captured in large measure, but not in its entirety by the bipartisan Biden plan that was agreed upon. And I think President Biden has been very clear. House Democrats have been very clear. We're going to invest in long term care, in home care, in child care, in health care. We're going to invest in resiliency, in a green, sustainable economy. We're going to invest in housing to create and preserve affordable housing for the American people. And we're going to do it uh, legislatively. We're going to do it decisively. We're going to do it over the next few weeks and the next few months.